Hey everybody, welcome to yet another episode of Life Conversations. But before we get started, here's a recap of what we conversed last time. God guides and orders our steps, mm -hmm. but then we've got to involve him. Mm -hmm. uh, it's said that God is a gentleman. Yeah. When you involve him in something, he's going to come in. Mm -hmm. When you leave him out of something, he's going to wait until you invite him. I don't think God chooses someone's mate. Yes. I believe God directs someone uh -huh. to his preference for yes. them. Okay. We actually found out mm -hmm. that we were we were talking but we were not connecting to one yeah, another. We were we, talking at, at each, or to one. Yeah. So welcome back everybody. Mm -hmm. And uh my wife today's conversation mm. is going to be hot. <laughs> yeah. So we'll be looking at um, physical intimacy mm. uh, in relationships, especially before marriage. Mm. So the question is, how far is too far? Yeah. And my bride and I are going to be sharing quite a lot about how far we went or didn't go. <laughs> Based on the looks I'm being given, I have to watch my safety. So enjoy. <laughs> so babe, how badly did you want to kiss me when, when I was your guy? Hey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. Well, tell us, tell us, tell uh, us. Mm -hmm. Truthfully, mm -hmm. I did. Really? I mean, okay, censored. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. I did. I, 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 I did want to. So, on a scale of one to ten, how badly? <sighs> how badly? Mm hmm. <laughs> uh, let's say eight. Eight. <laughs> wow. Eight. Not bad. I think yeah. I was doing a nine point five. Yeah. Uh, so we'll discuss uh, why yours is eight later. Mm. But tell me, what what do you think are the parameters mm -hmm. that uh, we ought to set mm -hmm. as far as physical intimacy is concerned when we are uh, when we are going out? Um. The first thing I think mm -hmm. uh, people who are dating should consider. Yes. Uh, I think the first thing would be your the history that you've you've, you've had. Mm -hmm. uh, I think uh, people who've had prior in, uh, experience experience, mm -hmm. it's harder to stay away. Mm -hmm. Doctor Darius Daniels, mm -hmm. he says when you are exposed to something. Uh -huh. It is harder to to unexpose yourself mm -hmm. once you've kissed. Yes. So the example, feeling never leaves. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you you it's like you're coming in mm -hmm. with a preconception mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. I mean it should be a natural thing mm -hmm. if you put it quote unquote. Mm -hmm. So if if we decide that we're going to we're not going. To, we're not going to do it mm -hmm. until we are we are married. Then mm -hmm. it means it's going. To, it's going to be harder mm -hmm. for me who has had prior experience mm -hmm. than someone who hasn't mm -hmm. had. So I think our history, mm -hmm. we should. It should be talked about, mm -hmm. not necessarily in the essence of exposing mm -hmm. and seeing uh, the yak things about mm -hmm. where you were before, mm -hmm. but just to know okay if i have been already exposed mm -hmm. then how hard should i try mm -hmm. to make sure i reach uh, the limit the boundary mm -hmm. we've put for ourselves mm -hmm. yeah, yeah so you're saying there has to be a decision taken yes from the onset of a relationship mm -hmm. so in making this decision mm -hmm. my view would be if we don't communicate what yes. our expectations are yes especially yes. as far as boundaries are concerned uh -huh then anything is going to be left to chance. That's right. That's right. Look at it this way. Mm -hmm. One of us has been exposed before. Yes. Has made out, has caressed, has done yeah. all those things. Yes. Then the other one is totally green. Uh -huh. So they don't even know mm -hmm. that boundaries should be discussed. Yes, yes, yes. So if it is not brought out to light mm -hmm. when a relationship is beginning, mm -hmm. chances of someone going beyond yes, yes. very, very high. Uh -huh. But then the question is, mm -hmm. why? what is beyond? How far is too far? What is acceptable as far as uh, physical intimacy is concerned in a relationship between two people uh -huh. who are yet to get married? Whew. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Oh my, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> it's, oh my, mm -hmm. that question. It's a crazy quote unquote mm -hmm. in this sense. Mm -hmm. If we say that we want to keep away from, from sex, mm -hmm. And all this kissing, mm -hmm. caressing, mm -hmm. touching, mm -hmm. embracing one another, mm -hmm. just you know, keeping in, 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 in one's embrace. Mm -hmm. All this mm -hmm. they are precursors mm -hmm. to sex, I would mm -hmm. say. Mm -hmm. uh, other than people who would say they just meet and bam, mm -hmm. we, we are having sex. Mm -hmm. the, the process of like you say intimacy. Mm -hmm. It's getting to know one another, right? Mm -hmm. So now we've held hands. We feel like I, I want to, to to I want you to hold me longer. Mm -hmm. If if you uh, if you hug me mm -hmm. for five minutes, make it fear, tighter. Yeah, mm -hmm. I want to stay there longer. Mm -hmm. And of course, as we as as people are dating, mm -hmm. you get to want to. It is so natural mm -hmm. to want to spend time more and more with the with the yes. yeah. yeah. So you'd actually really long for that embrace and mm -hmm. you know really long to to sit there. So we can't say that it is only kissing mm -hmm. that would lead to. Mm -hmm. It's it it like it's like it one goes, thing leads yeah, to the it, other. You know we want it more mm -hmm. and we want to stay more. Mm -hmm. And truthfully, I, I think that if at this time, mm -hmm. let's say we we hugged for five minutes. Mm -hmm. When we part ways, mm -hmm. when I go home and I've sat by myself and I'm just, you know, just, mm -hmm. uh, is that what used to happen? Yes, I know. <laughs> I'm just sitting with myself mm -hmm. and I'm thinking, oh, mm -hmm. truthfully, mm -hmm. because just sitting and, and meditating meditating on it mm -hmm. makes me want it more and more. So I would long for the mm -hmm. next time that we meet together. Mm -hmm. So, and when we meet together, I would think, ah, five minutes is not enough. Mm -hmm. So I would naturally just want more time mm -hmm. and more time mm -hmm. and more time. Mm -hmm. And before, be before we know it, we are, we are there. So you, I don't know if you've ever met people who say, mm -hmm. I don't know what happened. We just, we just had sex. Mm -hmm. we, we just, it just happened. It just happened. Mm -hmm. Nothing, nothing just, just happens, happens. Right. So mm -hmm. if we don't intentionally, mm -hmm intentionally decide mm -hmm. like you said we should sit and talk about it if we don't intentionally decide mm -hmm. then we will be at that place that we say we just fell into it mm -hmm. we just it just happened mm -hmm. so um since it's one step leading mm -hmm. to another one mm -hmm. step leading to another mm -hmm. then it means we should actually really sit and deliberate upon it yeah and, and truly say okay this the all this will lead to the final product. Mm -hmm. And we want to keep ourselves safe. Yeah. And it, it is not just uh, deciding about it. Mm -hmm. Like me going home and, and just sitting thinking and being Kenya, yeah, meditating about it. your thoughts become your actions. Become my on. actions, yeah. yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. So other than just uh, deciding this is, this is, this is, we're not going to do this, mm -hmm. then we should actually now look, go beyond yeah. what should we do. But babe, don't you think mm. it is very hard to set boundaries in relationships, especially when it comes to physical boundaries? Yes, yes. For yes. this reason, uh, I like you, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm attracted to you yeah. sexually. Yes. And one of the things that makes me want to spend a lot of time with you uh -huh. is because of that attraction. Uh, yes. So we sit down <laughs> and we like each other, right? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we are Christians, right? Yeah. We yeah. don't want to get into sex before yes. we are married, yes. just like you said. Yes. But mm. who said mm. that we can't make out mm. and it ends just there? <laughs> no, let's just think together, right? We can just uh, make out for like two minutes. Okay, not two minutes. Uh, maybe one and a half. Okay. <laughs> but the reality is, like yeah. you said, mm. It will not stop at two Actually, minutes. Yes, yes. And it will not remain at just making out. Yes. One thing will automatically lead yes. to another thing. Uh -huh. But you see, that does not uh, take away the truth of the matter mm -hmm. that it is very hard yes. to keep off. Yes. Because of that attraction. Mm. If it wasn't there, then there is no need for mm. us mm. to be mm. together. Mm. Mm. So the question to ask or yeah. to answer then is mm. in saying how far 
is too far. Yeah. Why does a couple feel? Uh-huh. Why do a couple feel yeah. they need to go far? What makes people want to walk close to the edge? Close to certain extent they are enjoying it. Yeah. And far enough to make sure they don't fall off. In asking mm. how far is too far, yeah. it's because we like walking too close to the edge, too mm-hmm. close to such an extent mm-hmm. that we won't fall off, but we are not on the safe zone. Uh-huh. So can we can you define, can we begin talking about what happens when we are too close to the edge? Which risk is greater? Walking in a straight line uh-huh. along the edge uh-huh. of a cliff <laughs> or going as far away as you can? from the edge, which is safer. Of course, when we are far away from the edge, that, I mean, that is that is mm-hmm. safe. Mm-hmm. On the edge, when you just trip a little, mm-hmm. I mean, you'll but, be wrong. But, but there is no thrill when you're away from the edge. Of course, there's no thrill. There's no thrill. <laughs> OK. Uh-huh. <laughs> when, apparently, mm-hmm. when, we, when someone puts a boundary for you, mm-hmm. As in you're told, don't don't touch that. Mm-hmm. That's when you really want to know what is on yeah, the why, other why side. Yeah, why should I not touch it? You know mm-hmm. what is on the other side. Mm-hmm. Oh my, hey, this boundary is really. Mm-hmm. Hey. Because I've encountered couples. Yes. Live alone encounter. You and I. Yeah. The edge was fun. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> well, I don't think we were too close to the edge, but, but, yeah. the way you're looking at me, <laughs> the way you're looking at me, the hardest thing to do yes. is to unexpose yourself, like you said. Yes, yes. And in my opinion, I think mm. the safer you are, yeah. the better. Mm-hmm. The further away you are from the edge mm-hmm. of falling into sexual activity before yeah, you marry, yeah. the better. Yeah. But then how do you how do you stay away from the edge? But babe, before you answer, let's take a short break and remember to give us your questions, your comments, and your feedback mm-hmm. through our social media handles mm-hmm. at Life Conversations, mm-hmm. and we'll interact with you. Keep it Life Conversations. Welcome back to Life Conversations with the Kelvins. So, baby, hmm? how exposed were you? Hey, 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 are you sure you want to know? Tell me. <laughs> <laughs> I like what you said earlier on, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. That uh, once you've been exposed to something, yeah. you cannot be unexposed. That's right. Now, I was exposed. <laughs> you, you were not the first girl I dated. Yeah. Uh, I had dated... Uh, Five more, I think, mm-hmm. uh, if memory serves me yeah. right. And uh, the first one were very green. Yeah. Uh, the second one were a bit yellow. <laughs> then it got colorful yeah. as, uh, as the numbers uh-huh. continued, right? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So by the time I'm meeting you mm-hmm. and liking you, mm-hmm. I'd already made out yeah. uh, with someone else. Yeah. 
I already knew how it felt. Yeah. Uh, I already wanted to do it with you. <laughs> oh, I, I'll give you that. Yeah. I already wanted to do yeah. it, right? Yeah. Have you seen your lips? <laughs> I kiss them all. I mean, who hold it on? Who hold it on to kiss them? Yeah. But then mm. you see the issue of exposure is very critical. Yeah. And uh, the first way I ever knew about making out was uh-huh. from a movie, uh-huh. was from a, a series, was from yeah. the media. Yeah. Because we've got to figure out how we get exposed to certain stuff. Mm. Before mm. you ever get to doing it, you saw it somewhere yeah. or you had it somewhere. Yeah. I was raised in the days of the bold and the beautiful, mm-hmm. uh, the young and the restless, yeah. and no one but you. Yeah. That's the time I grew up in. Mm-hmm. And of course, we watched some of those shows on yeah. TV yeah. and there was a lot of making up. That's right. Yeah. Where I, I, I saw it most was in a show I used to love a lot, mm-hmm. um, One Tree Hill. Yeah. I loved One Tree Hill mm-hmm. because it was about teens and I yeah, was a teenager yeah, back yeah, then. Yeah. And they were making out. Yeah. So if they are doing it on TV, then what makes it wrong? Yeah. And yeah. so I tried. Mm. Of course, I uh, was very green. <laughs> it wasn't nice. <laughs> but then you see, we were two people who had not been exposed. Yeah. I don't know what happened. We broke up. Yeah. And then uh, girl number two came. Now this one was more exposed yeah, okay. than me. Okay. So guess what? Mm-hmm. I was taught. She told me, nah, let's not. Let's uh, 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 we want to know. Tell us about nah, it. Nah, nah. <laughs> I truly have started this one. Tell us about it. All right, so here she comes. And uh, uh, she was very bold. Okay. So have you ever kissed a girl before? Uh, and at this point, I was blushing. I mean, uh, who was <laughs> that? Yeah. And I told her, yeah. Mm. And then she said, cool. And then kiss me. Mm. No, I didn't know how to start, what to do. <laughs> I was already tense. Yeah, yeah. Then she told me, let me, let me tell you. Really. Hey. Relax. Uh-huh. If your lips feel a bit dry, <laughs> it's okay to lick them a bit. So <laughs> that, that's, enough. <laughs> that's enough, right? <laughs> and there and then I got I got exposure. Yeah. But then you see where it started from mm. is watching something on TV mm. that made me curious, that aroused my curiosity. Mm. Mm. So it is, it is, it will be unreal to yeah. talk about boundaries mm. and safety yeah. and how close to the edge that people walk mm-hmm. if we don't begin addressing mm-hmm. what we watch on TV. Yeah. Because yeah. once a thought has been planted in someone's yes. mind, yes. the mind is gonna sort of push. The mind pushes someone mm. over and over mm. and over based mm. on what they're thinking mm. to mm. actualize that. Yes. Yes. But then, what was your experience? <laughs> when did you get exposed? Uh, le- let me share just one. <laughs> <laughs> the other many. <laughs> <laughs> let me just share one. Uh-huh. I was also very green. Mm-hmm. And I was madly in love, mm-hmm. you know? Or infatuated. Or, or maybe, yeah. <laughs> and so mm-hmm. this guy tells me, uh, we will go out. Mm-hmm. Actually, he told me that day, mm-hmm. he has to teach me mm-hmm. how to kiss. Right. So you're also a learner. <laughs> yeah. At least, see, I wasn't alone. So, uh-huh. so he took mm-hmm. me to a burrito. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she was out of ideas. Ah, a right. But I think at mm-hmm. that time, mm-hmm. Ah, I'm so young mm-hmm. and I'm thinking I really like this guy and mm-hmm. he insists we do this. I know mm-hmm. I'm a Christian. Mm-hmm. I know that we should not go this direction. Mm-hmm. But my heart is like was overwhelmed. Me. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking, let me just, you know. Mm-hmm. So what's we the went. worst that will happen? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And in, in open space, in some mm-hmm. tree somewhere, mm-hmm. you know? And that tree. <laughs> <laughs> I think he was thinking under the canopy of the leaves. You know? Mm. Mm-hmm. And so he held me properly mm. and gave me a serious kiss. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I think by and by, mm-hmm. like, you, like you mentioned before, mm-hmm. we, you wouldn't just reach, you wouldn't say um, three minutes is enough. Mm-hmm. Because after that, mm-hmm. however much I would, I would when I, I come and, and, and I sit alone when I'm alone, mm-hmm. and, and I'm just there and, mm-hmm. and, and God and we are talking together with God mm-hmm. and God convicts me and tells me mm-hmm. Mako, this is mm-hmm. not the direction that I want you to go mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. With, the, with the things that uh, you, that I wanted to accomplish in my life mm-hmm. 
So God is telling me, mm. this is not the, the direction that yeah, I want you to yeah, go. Yeah. So every time when I'm alone mm-hmm. and I'm thinking about it, maybe mm-hmm. I've just knelt down to mm-hmm. pray before I sleep. Mm-hmm. God would remind me because mm-hmm. we just we just from meet we are just from meeting. Mm-hmm. And of course, from the now from the first time that mm-hmm. we did it, every time when we meet, mm-hmm. his expectation yeah, is yeah, we, it have has to to yeah. we have to happen again. We have to make out. Mm-hmm. Yes, there was most probably no caressing and all that stuff mm-hmm. but the kissing because mm-hmm. it's like he had already set a standard yes, for us so you can go lower than so that. We, we wouldn't go lower mm-hmm. so every time mm-hmm. i'm going back i'm feeling ah, this is not what i'm supposed to be doing yeah so when when we when i go back and we meet together mm-hmm. we we fight all the time mm-hmm. because one of us wants it the other one is not very confident you know mm-hmm. it's not like it's not enjoyable it mm-hmm. is mm-hmm. but every time you know when you have it's like you have a burden you're carrying in your heart mm-hmm. every time yeah. so i really we have a date mm-hmm. i really want us to meet mm-hmm. and so this time maybe he insists we meet we meet over at their place and mm. of course at that time mm. the brothers are not there mm. and so we are just the two of us. Mm. So I'm sitting and thinking, ah, do I really want it's to go there? Again. It's going to happen again. Mm. I really like him. Mm. We fight all the time. It's mm-hmm. you know in and out, in are and you, out. Are you saying uh, that the Holy Spirit is interested in what we do when we are dating? Oh yes. Oh yes. How? Um, in, in, in us, mm-hmm. God God has put in us a conscience. Yes. At least, even a small kid knows mm. when he or she is doing something right wrong. or something yes. wrong. True. And the Spirit of God, mm-hmm. the Holy Spirit, mm-hmm. He speaks to us mm-hmm. even through our conscience. Mm-hmm. So when when I expose myself to Him, mm-hmm. I'll, I'll, it's like I'll hear more clearly. The way you meet some people and they say God talks to me, mm-hmm. and other people think it. How does it? How talk? does God talk to you? Mm-hmm. But when we expose ourselves more mm-hmm. to 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 God, yes. more and more, yes. it is easier for us to hear. No one is speaking. Yes. All right. All right. So mm-hmm. every time I, I would I would come back to pray, mm-hmm. he would I, would I would hear God tell me, "Hey, Marco, this is not the way. Mm-hmm. This is not the way. This is not the way." I don't like what you're yes. doing. Yes. Yes. And, and and so, like we we said from the start, mm-hmm. if we don't if we don't set clear boundaries, boundaries yes yes clear boundaries because yes. at that time mm-hmm. when we when we went to aborator mm-hmm. you see I, I didn't even know what i wanted in the relationship in the mm-hmm. first place mm-hmm. i just liked this guy mm-hmm. i mean and it was cool you no know, it to was be in a i mean you know right, your right, friends right. are in there mm-hmm. he's he, he's a he's a handsome guy mm-hmm. i mean Hold it all. Girls <laughs> like like him and he chose me in 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 saying we set clear boundaries. Yes. I would say we need to communicate very clearly mm. to the person we are dating, mm-hmm. the person we intend to get married to. Yes. On our expectation. Yes. Now, if you are speaking from the context of people who work with God, uh-huh. from Christians, yes. then making out is reserved yes, for yes. the marriage. That's right. Which I actually think is the right way to approach this thing. That's right. Making out mm. is reserved for the marriage. Mm. Number two, mm. long hugs mm-hmm. are reserved for the marriage. Yes. Number three, causing together, uh-huh. Uh-huh. watching a movie, yes. watching a sermon yes. is reserved for, uh-huh. for the marriage. Uh-huh. And then definitely sexual intimacy mm. is mm. reserved for the marriage. marriage yes. Which then means, mm. If we want to respect our boundaries, uh-huh. we cannot be in enclosed spaces yes. alone uh-huh. together. That's right. Because that is when physical intimacy will want to manifest That's right. itself. I, I, agree. I agree. You mentioned that sometimes you will go visit your ex, one of your mm, exes, mm-hmm. and his brothers or his friends were not there. Yeah. Because it brings in the aspect of the other balance. Mm-hmm. If we must visit each other yes. at home, uh-huh. at our places uh, of residence, yes. we cannot do that alone. Yes. Because definitely we will not make out when we are more than three. That's right. Unless we decide to. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Chances are it's not going to yeah. happen. Mm-hmm. And and you see, that's what accountability does when two people are going out. Mm-hmm. That you've got to be accountable not just to the two of you, mm-hmm. but you've got to be accountable to someone else. Yes. Such that if you must watch a movie together, yes, that person is present mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and possibly seated between the two of you. Yes. To make sure that it doesn't even happen by osmosis. 
you know? It, it, it looks very... Old an, school, yes, analog, yeah? A very analog mm-hmm. and maybe uncomfortable. You're thinking, mm-hmm. it's the two of us knowing one another. Mm-hmm. But, like you said, uh, you said earlier, mm-hmm. if someone is playing on the, on the cliff, mm-hmm. Or, or staying far away from mm-hmm. the cliff. Mm-hmm. Of course, staying on uh, on the side of the cliff is very dangerous, mm-hmm. and, and 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 we want to keep away from dangerous yes. because when we sleep and fall, we can't mm-hmm. go back. Mm-hmm. So staying far away mm-hmm. is, is is old school, mm-hmm. like you said. Mm-hmm. But old school is safe at the end of the day. I old agree. school is very safe very at the safe, end of the yes. day. I, I remember uh, my mom. At, mm-hmm. at some point there mm-hmm. when when she knew i was dating someone mm-hmm. she was telling me Paco, don't go mm-hmm. visit that boy alone mm-hmm. and of course at that time i'm thinking oh mm-hmm. old school what generation really, do you come really, mm-hmm. really. Mm-hmm. but right now mm-hmm. if i would advise anyone mm-hmm. it looks really old school but it is safe it mm-hmm. is very safe mm-hmm. i mean i wouldn't even mean it is very safe <laughs> <laughs> if 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 we, yeah. we decide that we want to we found out now mm-hmm. that all this all, all this touching and you know mm-hmm. uh, cuddling is is it's safe in the marriage in the in the marriage yeah. setting when you're mm-hmm. in yes. then i would rather we play old school yes but we keep it we reserve it for, for when where, it's time. where it's time and i agree with you uh in one of the times when we and i were really struggling yes keeping yes. hands and lips of each other yes yes i remember we agreed mm that if we didn't have money to go out yeah. for coffee yeah. or for a movie yeah. in a public place, mm. we would date in church. Yes. You remember? Yes, yes. And literally, we would meet in church mm-hmm. and there used to be the sound desk that yes. was in the middle yes. of, the, of the sanctuary. Yeah. And you would carry chapati and beans and avocado yes. and I would come with my laptop yes. and we would spend an entire afternoon there. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Funny enough, mm. when we were there, mm. we were never tempted yes, 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 to cuddle, yes, yes. That's right. to make out. <laughs> the temptation <laughs> was never there <laughs> because know. you can't do it. Yes. You see, intimate things do mm-hmm. not exist mm-hmm. in the public aspect of all in the public yeah. space mm-hmm. they are always enjoyed mm-hmm. in the private place mm-hmm. and when you mention about marriage yeah. the intimacy of marriage mm-hmm. is never done in front of a camera that's right it's never even done in front of the kids yes. it is behind closed doors mm-hmm. and the same same principle should apply when two people are going out that's right. when we start to read a book in church mm-hmm. We knew the pastor could walk in church any moment. Time, yes. So we even kept a very safe distance. Mm-hmm. And we used to say, let the Holy Spirit sit here. Yes. Because again, when he is there, mm-hmm. like you mentioned a few uh, minutes ago, yes. when you are going too far, he's he going to caution you. Yes, he's going to tell will. you, ah, I'm not clapping my hands at that right That's now. That's right. That's right. So the general principle here is group dating mm-hmm. is mm-hmm. one of the safest ways to make sure that a couple doesn't go too far. Yes. Again, it sounds off, it yes. sounds boring, it yes. sounds uh, so out of this world. Mm, mm. But I like something you said. Mm-hmm. If intimacy is the preserve of marriage, yes. let's keep it. Let's keep it. Let's keep making out off the table until yes. you're married. Yes. Let's not even hold hands. If it's gonna lead us yeah. to make out, yeah. let's walk when our hands are in our pockets. That's right. Because if that is what it takes for us to protect each other, yes. let's pay that price. And and there's one thing that mm-hmm. I am so sure about, mm-hmm. I am certain about. Mm-hmm. There is nothing that cannot be done. True. Nothing. True. As long as I have decided to mm-hmm. do it, mm-hmm. I actually can. Mm-hmm. There is nothing that cannot be done. That is how powerful God has made our minds. Yes. Once you decide. Once you decide to do something, that's it. Yes. A challenge. Mm-hmm. Uh, the way our girls, yes. or the way my girlfriend, yeah. would dress up to meet me. Uh-huh. And sometimes uh, they want to dress up for me, right? That's right. Uh, tight-fitting clothes yeah. that expose every curve and mm-hmm. every curvature. Yes. Uh, the V of the cleavage being yeah. out. Yeah. When we talk about exposure, mm-hmm. it's not just the media. Yes. yes. It's the way we dress uh-huh. in front of our significant other. That's right. Because speaking on the side of guys and men, mm-hmm. we are very visual. Yeah. And what I see 
yeah. will largely, largely, largely dictate yeah. what I think. That's right. So how do I handle myself when my girl is dressed in a way that uh, causes me to want to go too far? Just before we answer that question, let's take a short break. To life conversations with the Kelvins. So, baby, yes, mm -hmm. you asked me a question mm -hmm. that uh, I have dressed up. Um, I mean, I'm smart mm -hmm. and all that, but mm -hmm. somewhat provocative. Yeah, and it's taking mm -hmm. you back to it a place makes where you want to see more. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. On that note, mm -hmm. I was just thinking that because both of us have agreed to to keep our boundaries. Yes, I think that that as the leader of this mm -hmm. relationship mm -hmm. you should at some point in our uh, spending time together mm -hmm. at least mention it you know mm -hmm. so that so that i may i may remember or, mm -hmm. or the girl may remember hey we have we have mm -hmm. a, a, a a target to me yes yes, yes. Mm -hmm. at least when you expose it mm -hmm. it would it would somewhat take me out of the bubble that i may have been in mm -hmm. so but, you're saying when you show up dressed in a way that excites me yes, right yes i ought to tell you to dress up yeah really <laughs> okay because, because you see i'm coming from this angle right uh, yeah the way men are made we are very visual yes and it is what we see mm -hmm. that attracts us yes. especially as far as uh, women are concerned that's right so you have exposed uh, just a bit uh, you're a christian woman yeah, so yeah. it's just a bit uh-huh but uh, the truth of the matter is, yes. when I see even the beat, uh -huh. my mind will go over time. Mm -hmm. We'll want to know what is, what is, Beyond, what is, an, yeah, uh, yeah. what else can uh -huh. I see? Uh -huh. And I notice a very interesting principle yes. uh, when I study the book of um, Song of Songs in yes. some Bibles or uh -huh. Songs of Solomon. Uh -huh. He's talking about his lover, his girlfriend, yes. uh, who later on becomes his wife. Mm -hmm. And in the early chapters before the wedding night, mm -hmm. Solomon only describes from the neck upwards. Uh, y yes, yes. He only yes, describes yes, from the neck upwards. Yes, yes. The, the lips, the yeah, chin, yeah. Oh, the neck, yes, the eyes, yeah. the eyelashes. Mm -hmm. That's all he describes about his girlfriend. Mm -hmm. But after he gets married, mm -hmm. and after their first night, mm -hmm. now he begins becoming more graphical. Yes. That he describes other body parts yes, yes. that were covered uh -huh. by clothes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The wisdom, therefore, from scripture is mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. whatever is beneath the neck yes. for a woman uh -huh. should never be exposed That's to right. the public. Yes. Yes. It should be kept hidden uh -huh. and sacred. Yes. until the wedding night That's for right. the husband uh -huh. to uncover. That's right. So I'm in agreement with you mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. probably I'll share this with our audience. Yes. We ought to remind each other mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. the boundaries we agreed. Mm -hmm. And when one of us, one of the person in the relationship yes. is going in a direction that will make it harder to honor these boundaries, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. be the one to tell them. Yes. Especially yes. when it comes to the guy because like she said, mm -hmm. he is the leader yeah so you the man mm -hmm. it's your job to tell your girl mm -hmm. the way you are dressed is good yes. it's sexy yes. yes it turns me on yes but this is not the time for me to be That's turned right. on right. so will you cover it up just mm. a bit mm. more mm. a bit mm. more yeah. because yeah. if 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 i don't tell you that mm -hmm. then you won't be in a position to protect me that's right and you have a responsibility mm -hmm. to keep me safe yes. from getting into sexual activity yes. before you are my wife. Yes. So yes. when 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 I saw that from from Solomon, mm -hmm. it became like wisdom for me to use. Yes. That for as long as we were dating, uh -huh. as badly as I wanted uh -huh. to go beneath your neck, yeah. I never did. Uh -huh. Not because I didn't want to. Yes. But because I knew that's not the model that uh -huh. has been set yeah. for me in scripture. That's right. And it's not just for the dating couples. Mm -hmm. Even after we are married, mm -hmm. it doesn't mean that now you dress yeah. in a manner that exposes your body. That's right, yeah. I read somewhere a couple mm -hmm. of years back that anything of worth mm -hmm. or of value mm -hmm. 
in the world mm. is covered. Yeah. Gold yes, is yes, covered. Yes. Oil That's is right. covered. Yeah. Diamond, mm. coal, yeah. Yeah. natural gas. Yes. All these are minerals that yes. are very valuable mm -hmm. that bring in a lot of money yes. to the person who owns them. Yeah. And the person who wrote this piece asks mm -hmm. a question, mm -hmm. isn't your body as a woman as a man, yeah. more valuable than gold, yes. more valuable than silver, yeah. more valuable than natural gas. Yeah. So if all these minerals mm -hmm. are not living, yeah. yet yeah. they are that covered, mm. how, much how much more, more? should a woman, how? should a man yeah. cover their body? Because I don't think it's a women thing only. Yeah. It's just that uh, it is women who attract us yeah. with the way they dress. Mm. Mm. But maybe there's a lady out there mm. when they see the six pack that their boyfriend yeah. their man has mm -hmm. they get turned on yeah. Yeah. so it's an issue of i'm going to be modest enough yes. to keep what needs to be covered yeah. covered That's right. that i will only uncover it in the private place and for my husband only only, only. not my boyfriend yes. not my side chick yes. not my clande yeah. for my husband yeah. and and when we practice this mm. it becomes pretty easy or palatable to keep our boundary lines where they're supposed That's to right. be right. then again in this world and advent of movies mm. and then social media mm. again mm. a couple really has to be very careful yeah. what they watch That's both right. separately and, or together, and, together yeah. and what yeah. kind of music they listen to mm. because sometimes it's not even watching that music video yeah it's listening to a song that is very erotic yes that is very sensual uh, uh, and the human mind is very creative uh -huh. it uh -huh. will form images That's of what right. is being mm. sung about mm. So if listening to a very erotic and sensual song yeah. is going to make me think of getting intimate with you, yeah. of having sex with you, then I'm not going to listen to that kind of song. Yeah. Yeah. So do you think mm -hmm. having people that I'm accountable to, mm -hmm. if, 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 if maybe from my past mm -hmm. I, I was struggling with mm -hmm. such kind of music, mm -hmm. that such kind of music was what I was feeding myself mm -hmm. daily with, mm -hmm. and, and forgetting that sometimes it's hard. Mm -hmm. So do you think having a, an accountable partner, someone to just keep me on check, mm -hmm. would, would, it, would it help? I not only think it will help, I am sure mm -hmm. it helps. Mm -hmm. And maybe in the context of, of two people who are in a relationship, yeah. not just one accountability partner, mm. but an accountability couple. couple. Mm. That one, this couple should be married. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Because we are dating mm. with marriage being the end point. Yes. So this couple, number one, mm. accountability couple, mm. should be married. Mm. Definitely they are a bit older than us. Yes. People we respect. Uh -huh. And a couple yeah. that we allow to rebuke and get into our space. Yes, yes. For this reason, mm -hmm. they will have the leeway, the yeah, permission. Yeah to call us, to sit uh -huh, us down, uh -huh. and to demand some things from us, some yes, answers from yeah, us. Yeah. So you were on a date yesterday, mm. where did you go? Mm, mm. Uh, how much did you spend? Yeah. Who are you with? Yeah. What did you discuss? Mm. Having an accountability couple, they will ask very tricky questions. Yeah. So you, before you, 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 uh, you started dating, you already sexually active. Yes. Are you keeping your zip up uh -huh. with this girl? Yeah. Because you've committed, mm. you're not going to sleep together. Yeah. You were, you didn't have boundaries. Mm. The boundaries that we set when we began this relationship yeah. and that you submitted to us, mm. are you maintaining? Yeah. You see, if the answer is yes, yes, then this accountability couple will spur us on. Mm. Mm. If the answers are no, assuming we are honest with them, yes. because accountability is useless if there's no honesty. That's right. If we made out and our accountability couple demanded to know if we did, yes. we ought to be honest enough to tell mm. them, honestly speaking, we, 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 we slept yesterday. Yeah. If, if the answer is no and we broke our boundaries somewhere, uh, they will sit us down, yeah. rebuke us if yeah, need be, yeah. especially where we broke them out of our own foolishness, yes. and then counsel and guide us on what to do next uh -huh. to make sure that we don't, uh, we don't break those boundaries again. Yes. So my advice to every couple out there, mm -hmm. Who are dating mm. with marriage and a wedding being the end point mm. you mm. cannot do without accountability yeah. you cannot do without a couple that mm. keeps you accountable yeah. that asks questions mm. that checks up on mm. you mm. they will help you so much mm. as far as keeping those boundaries 
have concerned. Yeah. As we bring today's conversation to a close, we'd like to invite your comments, your feedback, and your questions through our social media handles given on your screen, and we'll get right back to you. This has been Live Conversations with the Kelvins.